What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we have another DC McFarlane Toys action figure review of the Todd McFarlane designed Batman. Uh, this is a Batman that is specifically designed by Todd McFarlane. It does not, and to my knowledge, it doesn't appear in any video games or comic books. So I, as a, I'm a fan of Todd McFarlane. I thought it was really cool that he did his own design. I hope he does it with more characters. I think that would be really, really cool to get like a Todd McFarlane style Joker or Superman. That's something I could get into. So I definitely wanted to pick up this figure. I thought it looked really cool, especially the ears. I think the ears are really, really nice. And it's always nice to have another uh, version of Batman in the collection. So before we go over this figure, let's go over the box. It's a classic window box packaging. As you can see, DC Multiverse, Batman, McFarlane Toys. Here's the image of the artwork uh, designed by Todd that the figure is based on. And this would be the trading card as well. And then you have Todd McFarlane's really cool signature. I mean, that's a cool looking signature, man. My signature sucks. That's a really cool signature. So you got Batman designed by Todd McFarlane. So let's go over the figure. We'll go over his accessories and we get them out of his, uh, you know, his little holster back here. So the accessories come, he's got these two really cool blades. I think these blades are really, really awesome. And as you can see, they port right into the back of the figure. And I like these little designs you get. And you see these like spike designs throughout the, uh, throughout the uh, figure itself. And then he has a Batarang, which is really nice. You know, it's a really cool fig, a really cool accessory. And then when we come to the figure itself, I really like, like I said, that what you see is like the spikes, right? I love that he has got really pointed long ears. I like his uh, spikes on his shoulder. You can see them on the gauntlet, like all throughout the gauntlet, the hands. So it's definitely a theme throughout the figure, which I think is really cool, kind of medieval-like, you know, maybe steampunkish. And then you can see where these guys will port in uh, to this figure. Let me make sure I get it on the right way. Yeah, bam, there's one. There is two. So he has them, so he's always ready to throw down. I like, I actually like the how the cape bends in. I think that's really neat. It gives it a really cool shape to the cape. So, as far as sculpt goes, I really like it. Um, I like the fact that he's got like, you know, the squared off chin. And like I said, the ears are really my favorite. I mean, I like the short ears, but it's nice to have like a long eared Batman. It's really cool. I like his bat symbol, how, now how it's kind of raised off. It's more so a part of the cape than it is the actual uh, suit itself. Uh, this Batman is one that he's ready for anything with his utility belt. He's got some throwing, some throwing knives, some throwing bat wings. Uh, it looks like he's got some quite a bit of stuff underneath here. Um, looks like he's definitely ready to take on some bad guys, which is really cool. I really like the armor throughout. I think it's really, really nice. You know, I really dig uh, some of the, like I said, like utility survival stuff. It's really nice. His boots are really cool. I like the, actually the squared shape of the feet. I think those are really, really neat. And then like, it's, like I said, the theme throughout is like these spikes, you know? So if he punches you in the face, it's gonna hurt really bad. Uh, and then he has like more spikes throughout the gauntlet. Just a really, really cool design. Like I said, it's a very unique design because it's specific to Todd McFarlane and his artwork, which I think is really neat. Like I, I like I said, I, I really kind of hope that this is something that Todd does uh, every once in a while. It'd be nice to actually get a, an entire uh, Justice League of Todd McFarlane designed characters. Cause I think he can do some really cool things. And, and it would be nice to see more characters maybe within the same vein that look like they come from the same universe as uh, this Batman does. So I think that's really cool. That's something I'm really into. Let's get some figures to size compare with uh, the uh, Todd McFarlane Batman just to see how he looks amongst with others. The first one I have right next to me is the Joker. And I do think these two look really cool because like I said, this is kind of, I, I couldn't categorize this as like a comic figure even though it's it's not a comic figure. It's a, uh, you know, it's a designed by figure, but obviously I feel like they, they look really nice. Uh, let's get a couple other figures to see how he looks. I want to get a couple Mortal Kombat guys and other, some other DC figures to see how he looks. Because I also think that he could maybe go with your DC collection because maybe he can go with, I mean, not your DC, your Mortal Kombat collection because he got some weapons, man. Maybe he can kind of look like a video game character. I don't know. Let's get some figures out. Here he is with Deathstroke and Scorpion. And like I said, I feel like he re definitely stays within this realm, right? I feel like he looks really good with these. I will get us some live action figures in a bit. But I think he's going to go better with your comic book video game figures than he will with the live action characters. Because he's definitely, like I said, to me, it's almost like a comic book character. Even though he hasn't appeared in a comic, he is original from an illustration. So I go more that way. But I think he looks really cool. So you could probably fit him with your Mortal Kombat figure. Especially with your with Mortal Kombat coming out with, you know, a Joker figure. If you want a Batman in there, cool. Um, and then you obviously have the video game series, which is this figure is so sick. So let's get some live action guys to see how Todd McFarlane's Batman stands up. Here he is with the Justice League Zack Snyder 
uh, Aquaman and the Batfleck. And as you can see, like I said, he looks way better with like the video game comic book characters into his live action. And that's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, you can put him wherever you want in the collection. It's your collection. You pay the money, you do what you want with them. But me personally, I'm going to be putting him with my, you know, comic book characters. Uh, but like I said, I do like this figure a lot. I want to see more of Todd's vision of these characters. I think that's really unique to the to people's collections, and I really appreciate that. So if you guys like this video, please comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.